Okay, so welcome back to the WiseTech um, part three. So what we're going to start off with is some decisions. Like, so why do we need them? So we can tell the code what to do. So if it is raining, take an umbrella. If it's not, let's just leave the house. We don't need an umbrella. So um, we input if it's raining, yes, no. If raining is equal to, so double equal sign is equal to, then it will print, take an umbrella. If it's not, it will print, leave the house. Now, the important thing here to note is that you need to use double equal sign. That means is equivalent to, is equal to. Um, it's a, if statement is a control structure and it is how we start branching our programs to do multiple things. So we um, will go if um, yeah, if name is Eliza, print what a nice name. Um, and you can see there it's indented. Be careful with the indents. In Python, the indents have to be equal for a block of code. If it's not, then it is an error. And it will tell you unexpected indent. And all you do is fix the indenting up. Um, very, very important. Python needs proper indenting. Um, really good feature of Python. Okay, so we're going to have a look at some sport. So you're going to say, what is your favorite sport? Put in tennis. And then if it equals tennis, if your favorite sport equals tennis, we're going to say, that's mine too. And you play something. So variable favorite sport. I'm going to equal that to input. And then same prompt as we've got on the left-hand side. What is your favorite sport? Space. If you close it off, close the parenthesis off. And then we come back and we, after that we're saying print. Or no, sorry, if uh, favorite sport. So if favorite sport is equal to tennis, what are we going to do? So we do a colon, automatically indents, and then we're going to print. That is my favorite sport too. Exclamation point. Bang. And by default, we're just going to go, we should go and play some and then favorite sport. So we concatenate it. So plus favorite sport. And we've got to remember the exclamation mark at the end. So let's run it. What, what, error? Oh, yep, you'll probably all pick that up earlier. So I didn't finish the end, um, string literal, so I didn't finish to put my quotes in. Let's <coughs> focus forward, curling. Let's go play some curling. Oh, I missed about should. Probably pick that up too. You're going, oh, what an idiot. Yeah, I am, sorry. Um, what's your favorite sport? Um, how about some dwarf tossing? So we'll go out and we'll throw some dwarfs. Yeah, so let's have a look. So let's test it with tennis. Uh, what's your favorite sport? Tennis. <laughs> That's my favorite sport too. Yay! But what if we actually go T tennis with a capital T? Oh, it's slightly different. Now we go or fave sport equal to, and I'll explain this shortly, tennis. <coughs> Run that. Oh, yeah, sorry, we're in Python. Um, double pipes is another programming language. In Python, it is or. So favorite sport is equal to tennis or favorite sport is equal to tennis with a capital T then we can, it'll run that. So we can do fancy things like that. And just check it, dwarf tossing again. Yeah, and let's mark it, submit, and <coughs> there we go. So true or false. So what it's actually doing is it's evaluating to true or false. So um, it's a yes, no, true, false. They're called Boolean variables. Um, so they're after George Bull, and they're either a true or a false. Um, you can print them directly too, so that's handy. So start, is it raining? Yes, take an umbrella. No, take a hat. Ooh. So we're going to do if something else, something else. If this is true, do that. If it's not so else, do the second choice. Is the light on? No. Yes, do nothing. Is If it's not, turn the light switch on. If that makes sense. So, oh, what is your favorite Pokemon? <clears throat> My favorite Pokemon is Pikachu. And um, Pikachu. And we're going to input. So favorite Pokemon is equal to input, input it, and it's, which is your favorite. <clears throat> Make sure we close the string and close the parenthesis. And then if, and we put brackets, fave Pokemon is equal to my favorite, my fave, colon, we're gonna print me to exclamation point, bang. Close it all off, and then else print I like Pikachu. So it's only ever going to do that, and we do this by printing plus my favorite, so concatenating. Um, and nearly left off uh, full stop at the end. So glad you picked that one up. You're sitting there going, oh wait, oh wait, you left full stop off. I can't hear you, this is a video. Um, so I fix that up. And my favorite is Lapras. I like Pikachu, so let's run it again. My favorite is Snorlax. <coughs> Actually, I like Jigglypuff. Um, and let's see, my favorite is Pikachu. <coughs> So it's only ever going to run one or the other of an if else. So it's never going to run both. 
Um, so let's have a look. All these evaluate to true or false. So we've got equal to, not equal to, less than, less than, or equal to, greater than, greater than, or equal to. Make sure you learn how the little um, less than, equal to, or less than and greater than goes. So that's really important. Um, rookie mistakes if you don't get that right. Um, okay, so just some more comparisons. X equals five. Print X is less than or equal to 10, which is true. Five is not equal to 10, so that's true as well. But what if we change X to 10? 10 is not equal to 10. That's actually false. <coughs> a bit confusing, but there you go. Um, so if we've got numbers, we can do the same thing. Um, and we can do things with user input. Remember, integer input. So, so Kylie Minogue, 157 centimeters tall. We can compare our height to Kylie Minogue. I'm not really 210 centimeters either. Whoop, and error. So I typed in the wrong end of it. So what? Let's check it again, 157. And wow, I'm the same height as Kylie Minogue. <coughs> Can I afford it? Okay, so this is, we've got $12 in your wallet. We're going to buy some Mars bars at $2 each. So I always start, I'll put, what do I know? And I'll put them into variables so we don't have magic numbers floating around. So cost, I um, probably should call it cost the Mars bar, but cost is enough. Now, we're going to input how many or Mars bars. And it's a integer, it's an input. And we're going to say, how many Mars bars do you want? <coughs> and, oh, yep, and close both of them off. And we're going to say, if our... <coughs> Now this is where we have to think about it. So Mars bars times cost is less than or equal to our money. Yeah, we're going to print buy them. And otherwise we're going to print, so else, print, <coughs> you cannot afford them, or you cannot afford that many, sorry, and sad face. Old school emojis. And run it. How many Mars bars? I only want three because I'm not greedy, so I'll go and buy them. And because I want, I'm feeling a bit skinny and want to put on weight because I'm not a sugar, I'm going to buy 17 and eat them. So we're smashing through this one. <coughs> so we can actually go if something, then nest it down if this, then if so. Um, and we can actually do lots of comparisons. So we might sometimes need to do more than two comparisons. So we use an L if. Um, so if x is less than 3, else if. So um, have a look at this, where are you from? Pluto. Yeah, because it's not a planet. And it's not a planet, yeah. So let's work through this, our final problem for the thing. So we're going to sit there and go word and put what did we say. Um, and then we're going to say if word equals Hola. Print hello. Else if. Or oh, if. Word is equal to sim. Print no. Or oh, no, that's yes, sorry. As you can see, my Portuguese is amazing. And elif no. Print no. And if we don't understand hello, yes or no, we're going to print no comprehende. Compreendo. Compreendo. Portuguese is amazing. So there you go. And full stop, so making sure, run it. What did I say? What did you say? Hola, hello. Sim, yes. No, no, and and let's mark it, and what, uh, failed. Uh, one or more input prompts are not correct. Input prompt, oh, yeah, all right, you probably picked it up ages ago and you've been yelling at me for the last two minutes. What did you say? What did they say? It should be they say. So what did they say? All right, we're all done. Let's test that off and submit it. And oh, back again, and yeah, we all passed. All right, end of stage three. So next one, we'll be up to stage four. Thank you very much.